they say marijuana grows like a weed. But growing high-quality marijuana takes more than just throwing a seed in the ground. Join us as we speak with the most recognized cannabis horticulturists in the world and take your live grow questions in our Cultivator's Corner. Welcome back, everyone. 31 after the hour. And joining us by telephone today, we have ganja guru Anthony Franciosi. And uh, he's here to talk, talk about ants organic marijuana. Anthony, welcome to the show. How's it going? Ah, doing really, really well. I'm glad to have you here. I'm checking out. Thank your, you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. I'm checking out your press release, and it couldn't be more timely because we were just reporting on uh, the Founders Fund investing millions of dollars in privateer holdings, the owners of the Marley Natural Cannabis brand, and you even bring that up in your uh, in your press release here that you're you're launching ahead of Marley Natural and planning to be the better organic solution. Tell us about your brand, Ants Organic Marijuana. Well, we're, we're trying to just do things a simple way, uh, the old school way, with the maximum benefit to not only ourselves, but to the planet. And we're trying to do it um, indoors, but um, using kind of alternative lighting um, that uses a lot less electrical power. And we're using the cold air out here in Colorado to cool our room, so we're trying to be maximum efficient um, with all organic amendments and just um, trying to do it the right way. So what, what's behind this rise in interest in organic marijuana? It's been around for a while. It's not like there haven't been organic growers out there, but now it just seems to be the big buzzword. What do you think's behind this? Well, I think um, the general trend for our planet is that we need to kind of do things in a different fashion, and organic is a buzzword across many different fields, not just in the cannabis industry. And um, I think the idea is to um, try to, you know, kind of make the world a better place by using organic means not only to derive our nutrients, but for what goes into um, the wastewater when we're done growing. And, um, you know, um, it would... People have always been just trying to get the yields up, get the get the bigger buds and the, the biggest crystals and whatever they can do. And um, what we're finding is that the organic methods are actually producing a much higher quality taste-wise, um, resin-wise, and are a better medicine for the people who are in need of this medicine, not just for recreational purposes but for serious um, illnesses yeah and and a lot of the marijuana that's being grown especially indoors these days uh, is being grown hydroponically and a lot of people will point to some benefits of that uh, cost wise or even you know what they're producing as being a, a better bud why would you uh, how would you counsel someone on making the switch and why they should make the switch from hydroponic to organic well, there's a lot of really good hydroponic growers out there who are using organic means. Um, the problem is that's not everyone. The, um, there's a compound that a lot of hydroponic growers use called EDTA that's in a lot of common nutrients, um, which has been banned in a lot of Western European countries, and basically um, it holds on to metal. So it's a way to force feed plants. It's, it's a synthetic chelator, which uh, basically it force feeds nutrients to the plants. And in, in a soil-grown environment, we put beneficial bacteria in the soil, which reaches out to nutrients in the soil and creates a relationship, which then feeds the plant exactly what it needs. And um, it's a 100% organic process rather than um, a kind of force feeding type of um, idea, which um, can produce great results also. Um, but we just feel that the organic methods are producing a superior quality product. You know, I, I've got the advantage of getting to sample a lot of different marijuana from some of the, the best growers on the planet. And one thing I've found about organic uh, marijuana, soil grown marijuana, is a more kind of a, 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 a it's, it's beefier. It's got a better taste. It's, it's, it's savory. I don't know the proper words maybe to describe it. Whereas I, I think distinct might be a good term that I like yeah. to use where for organic stuff because um, what we're trying to do is let the genetics speak for themselves and allow the true, honest um, characteristics of the genetics uh, come out. 
And um, I think organically is the way to go if you want that to happen because we're just allowing the plant to express itself in its natural environment the way that it's been grown for thousands of years. Mm, excellent. Uh, we're speaking with Anthony Franciosi from Ants Organic Marijuana. Our call-in number is 971-533-7111 if you've got questions about organic marijuana cultivation. We've also got our chat room uh, open, and we've got a question from one of our listeners in Idaho who wants to know, uh, how are clones with organic? Does, does cloning work well with organic plants as it does hydroponics? Um, hydroponic Cloning, basically the only difference is, based, I, in my mind, is whether or not you use growth hormones. Um, there's so many products out there to help you with cloning. For my organic techniques, I use an aeroponic system. It's a homemade aeroponic system, and I use nothing but water. And that way, we're not using any growth hormones. It takes a little bit longer, and um, we still get great results in the aeroponic method, which is actually, you know, a type of hydroponics, but... Um, what we're doing is just producing those roots and then getting them right into that soil medium um, where they live for the you know the remainder of their time. Okay, so for listeners out there who may have had some experience growing hydroponically, what sort of differences they need to be aware of as far as you know setting up the grow, the schedule, all those kind of details that might be different? Uh, well, basically, I mean, in my mind, hydroponically, you can do it. Um, a little more simply, a little cleaner. When you bring dirt into the world, um, you're kind of create a mess for yourself regardless because that's the nature of the beast. Um, but hydro, I mean, very similar techniques. It's just a matter of the medium um, in my mind. So similar timing, similar growth cycles, but you're definitely uh, a little different change in the workload and, um, you know, hydroponics you can tend to keep a little bit cleaner just because of that, uh, no dirt being involved. Mm. Another aspect of organic cannabis cultivation is not just what's going into the cannabis, but what's coming out of the the cultivation, the waste products, the use of electricity and so forth. Uh, Tell us how Ants Organic is reducing the footprint of, of organic cultivation couple things we're doing. The first thing is in the room, we're using uh, water-chilled cooling systems with a special dry chiller, which is going to basically uh, filter and cool it for us so that the um, system, which requires a lot of energy, um, it's cooling there. So um, we're basically using the environment that we live in. I'm, I'm in northern Colorado, which is uh, a pretty cool climate most of the year, so it's allowing us to save um, energy on the grid that way. Um, the other thing that we're doing is using a, a new light-emitting ceramic technology, um, which basically uses 30% less um, electricity than a traditional indoor light um, that's being used right now, um, similar to LEDs um, in their in their footprint usage. Hmm. Um, you know, that's, that's interesting to me. We're doing. I was going to say, oh, that's, go interesting. that's interesting to me is that, you know, I was reading through the, the, the press release here and it was the first time I'd seen the acronym LEC lighting and I had to look right. it up, a light emitting, uh, what was it again? Light emitting uh, ceramic. Light emitting ceramic. How does, that, how does that work? Basically, it's a, it, it's a traditional metal halide bulb, um, but, uh, through new technology, metal halide bulbs in the past had used had had to use magnetic ballasts. Mm-hmm. Now they have found a way to pair them with uh, di- digital ballasts, and um, they're creating a fuller spectrum um, than a traditional HPS bulb. So more far blue, more far red in the spectrum, which uh, the yields are similar, but per watt we think they're a little better, and they're also doing. Uh, amazing things for the resin content, which is a great help for making solventless um, concentrates, which mm-hmm. is uh, a um, Well, that's so, great. And now you're in northern Colorado. Of course, Colorado's the yeah. the, the the hub of uh, cannabis commerce that's going on and things are exploding pretty uh, quickly as far as the development of the industry and the standards and so forth. Um, as a organic grower, does this put you at a competitive disadvantage? Are you, are you having to market as maybe a, a niche product where someone going hydroponically can be like Walmart or McDonald's and just mass produce marijuana? 
that's definitely true. Another thing is there's so many greenhouses being built in Colorado, which will be able to produce tons and tons of uh, cannabis. And so definitely, you know, this this industry is fairly established in Colorado, and to be entering into it now, there's the competition is massive, but um, we think that just we're, we, we're kind of taking it back to the old school and hopefully creating a product that uh, stands out and um, we're doing a couple things to hopefully be efficient so we can compete price-wise, even though it's a very small operation that I'm running. Mm-hmm. Um, but the idea is to be the highest possible quality organic medicine for people, and um, that's really why I'm hoping we'll shine through, to be honest. So yeah. and, uh, there's a lot of people out there growing hydroponically t- who are doing a great job, as well as lots of uh, other organic products. Um, so... Hopefully, we can uh, provide a that will help people and, you know, we'll succeed that way. Yeah, we're, we're hoping the best for you, too, because uh, we support, you know, uh, small level growers who are you know providing organic uh, tested uh quality products we really appreciate you coming on the show to tell folks about that we've got about a minute left i want to make sure people know how to get in touch with you and find out more about ants organic marijuana do you have facebook and twitter and web pages to tell people about um www.antsorganic.com is coming online right now a-n-t-s organic and another great thing to check out on instagram it's at colorado mel um this is uh, somebody, a close friend of mine. He's an expert grower who um, is focusing on the solventless concentrates, um, which we feel is the highest quality form of medicine. Um, so anybody out there on Instagram wants to check out at Colorado Melt. Um, it's a pretty interesting thing and uh, something we're going to be working on a lot in the future. And the website should be up here shortly. All right. Looking forward to that. Ants Organic Marijuana. Anthony Franciosi is the grower and the man behind the company. Check them out online. And will you be at the uh, Cannabis Cup in April? I'm hoping to be. Um, we're, April is going to be a busy time. Our facility is going up um, right around that time. I'm planning to be um, elbow deep and lots of dirt and other good. So hopefully... We'll be down there, but we'll see what happens. All right. Well, good luck to you, Anthony. Thanks for joining us on the show. Ants Organic Marijuana, folks. Check it out. Have a great day. Thank Talk you to very you again. much, Russ. Thanks for having me. We're back with a Radical Rant right after the anti-drug public service announcement of the day. You're listening to The Russ Belville Show. Russ Belleville Show, the voice of the marijuana nation.